You know, I can't even... I can't even... Just like the original Footloose, the new kid in town wants to change that law. So is the remake any good or... What? Let's find out from Mr. Movie Phone. I have to say, um, Russ, thank you for being with us. That I did get to see this ahead of time, too. So I'll have an opinion, even though I'm not the movie reviewer. So do tell. What's new and different about this version? Well, by the way, I'm not really a movie reviewer either. So that makes two of us. <laughs> uh, I just watch them and tell people what I think about them. Well, this is a remake of the 1984 hit, as you know. Uh, you got a new cast. You got Kenny Warmold, uh, Julianne Huff, and you said it's about a story of teenagers. Kid moves to a small town. They've outlawed dancing because of an accident, and he's going to fight for his right to dance and fight for his right to party. Robin, I got to tell you, I thought it had a ton of energy. I thought the cast was good. Julianne Huff, great movie for her to sort of cut her teeth in the in the acting world. And I think you can kick off your Sunday shoes. I took my kids. They don't know about the old Footloose. For them, they haven't seen it, so it's new to you. And uh, and I thought it was pretty well done. So I'm in. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, I thought that um, Julianne really brought um, a new look to that role, whereas I thought that Kenny really must have studied Kevin Bacon because he gets, like, even the moves spot on from Kevin Bacon. And didn't you feel like they kind of made it more contemporary with the music and some of the lines they freshened them? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They changed the music a little bit, and, and I really thought that they were respectful of the old movie, but kind of added their own touch, which, if you're going to do a remake, that's yeah. the way to do it. And I and I think the kids are going to love it. So, I'm in. I was surprised. Right. I didn't think I was going to like it so much. Yeah, new and old songs on the soundtrack. That one was by Big and Rich, um, Fake ID. Okay, so the next thing to talk about is the big year. What's this about? The Big Year, yeah, this is a, a nice little movie. It stars Steve Martin, Jack Black, and Owen Wilson. And, and it's, a, it's a movie about bird watching, Robin. It's about ornithology. These guys are in a competition to, to win the Big Year, which is the guy who sees the most birds wins. Now, I know we don't have a clip of this movie, which is sad because I loved it. I thought it was a very nice little movie. Again, it's called The Big Year with Jack Black, Steve Martin. Uh, and, and I thought it was very, very well done. It's a nice little grown-up movie. And, and so if you get a chance, go check out The Big Year. Good. Because I didn't really like the previews that I saw watching movies of that. But if you say that you like it, you're a tough cookie. So, yeah, nice big names in there. So, The Thing. So, we have two remakes. <laughs> the Thing. As in... Yeah. Yeah, all right? The horror film? Well, well, here's the bottom line. Yeah, well, it is a, a remake, another needless remake, really, of a horror film. And, Robin, the thing about The Thing is that The Thing sucks. And I don't know that I'd be spending any money in a theater to go watch it. The, the Thing. I'd probably, if you, if you like these sort of movies, wait for the DVD. There's nothing new. Unlike Footloose, there's nothing new about this movie. It's, uh, they, they weren't reverential to the old one, and it's just kind of a way to pick your pocket. So I would pass on that one. And if I'm going to the movies this weekend, I would go see Footloose. I think you're going to have fun with that. And I would also check out The Big Year. Again, it's a nice little movie. If you have a date, uh, take your husband, your wife. You're going to have a good time. All right. You have a nice weekend when your starts, okay? Thanks, Thanks Robin.